I filmed Mischief in the Snow as the first episode in the new place in the Midwest while I was trying to edit Christmas Catastrophe, which lived up to its name. Oh, I'm gonna go play in it. Snow! Snow, 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 snow. Oh. The barns are gone. They're all missing. And everybody who was inside. Oh no. Not again. I'm looking for Lola Langer. Then you should probably look for her where the news is. Oh, I did. <laughs> you are the news. Would you mind if I set up a news team on the front lawn? I have to try to teach four small children how to sit on a horse by myself. Doomed. <laughs> Christina, the children, there. They're here. Unfortunately, season five stretched from one year into two as my chronic illness became more and more severe. After only four months in the Midwest, I found that I had to move again in order to manage my illness. I made a few shorter videos after the move, but I didn't make any more episodes until November. In the intervening months, Mischief had a few more adventures, and I started the very popular This Is My Horse series. Welcome to This Is My Horse. I'm your host, Lola Langer. This Is My Horse consisted of 17 short videos designed to give a more in-depth look at some of the horses and riders in the series. I felt that it was important to establish their independent stories, given that I was about to put them all together in the very next episode. What I didn't expect was for people to keep asking for more after I'd run out of horses to make videos for this to be my horse of. But you may notice there is no This Is My Horse Rubicon. So this is my horse may return. This is my horse Blackjack was the first collaboration between Redstone Manor and an outside farm. I don't think it'll be the last. It's one in the morning and I'm filming action figures. Cause that's what adults do. I'm here for a job interview. M Mrs. Miss Harrington. Greenbridge was probably the single most complicated episode that I have ever attempted. I've suddenly got three barns at the forefront, and for every character, there's a reason why this particular horse show is important to him or her. On their own, horse show episodes are complicated. But this one would set the stage for what I have planned for Season 6 and beyond. It's very important to me that I got the details right, and that each character's personality shines through as much as they can. Hello everybody! So I'm here at Pioneer Days, and I'm doing a presentation on tech making! In October and April, I had the opportunity to take some of my briars for leatherworking demos and share briar horses with the people there, many of whom had never seen one before. It was a lot of fun getting to interact with people, but I keep dreaming that someday I'll actually make it to Briarfest. I've been doing this for nearly six years. That's a long time. I started with five briars, a camera, and my imagination. I didn't know that my show would ever be this successful. If I had just been doing it to get attention and subscribers, it would have ended. I would not have had a giant collection. I wouldn't have had these barns. I wouldn't have been toting them all across the US. I thought, you know, maybe somewhere out there there'll be a few people that will like my videos and that would be cool.
My new house! Isn't it beautiful? With its pink walls. Yeah. I have grown to accept the fact that Redstone Manor and my life are just completely intertwined. They have certainly seen their share of ups and downs in the last few years. Season 6 certainly hasn't gotten off to the rip-roaring start that I had anticipated and planned, but I'm confident that despite all the setbacks and all the delays, the show will go on, and it'll be better and crazier than I ever expected. Redstone Manor has grown so far beyond just being a series about one barn and one small group of writers. As a series, it now includes the scope of an entire town, and it's starting to grow beyond that. Even I don't know exactly what the future holds for these characters, any more than I know what it holds for myself. But I do know that it's going to be quite the adventure. Mm hmm. Interesting. 